Yo. Raising the Tobagos, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round, hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish moments that special. You gotta keep the momentum. If you love me, then I love you. And I could never forget you. Some memories don't fade. Sometimes you miss the old days, but nothing changes. Change, less you change what's around you, how you think, how you live, how you speak, how you walk, how you blink, how you talk, how you teach, how you reach, let it sink. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? How to play? I'm just playing. What's your purpose? What's your passion? Do the pain? What's your plan? Is it plain? On a plane? Uh, a beat by Joby, feel like Obi-Wan Kenobi Cause I'm a star and they can't hold me like I'm Kobe in the fourth Yeah, nothing is ever forced, we headed straight to the source No middleman, little man Good morning you guys, welcome back to another vlog, happy Friday Today is Friday the 19th of February As you would have seen, I woke up really early this morning I had a nice, chill, slow steady morning. I also just got done with making myself a smoothie for breakfast. Typically I would like make myself something. You guys tend to see like what I usually like to cook for myself but today I just wanted to have something light. I wasn't really that hungry. So if you're wondering in this I put acai puree, blueberries, spinach leaves, banana, chia seeds, some collagen powder. What else did I put? almond milk I feel like I'm missing something is that it I think that's it I think that's it that's like the main stuff anyway but yes I figured that I would start off today really early because I kind of want to continue on with my whole making over my room thing I don't know what's gotten into me lately but I just like want to refresh my space I mentioned this in my last vlog but yeah, since it is early, it's currently just after 8 a.m. I want to get my day started because I actually want to paint a few things. So I want to get that out of the way. And then I have to go out as well to pick up something that I ordered, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I just wanted to like start my day early today. I woke up at around 5.30. I've been waking up at that time pretty much every single day this week because I've been working out pretty much every single day this week, but today is a rest day in the schedule. So that was kind of good. Also, another thing that I just wanted to bring up is that it's currently eight in the morning and I have not yet gone on any like social media accounts, no Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, not that I even really use Facebook, but like nothing like that. And that's because I recently set up, I think it's under screen time, yeah, underneath screen time, if you guys have an iPhone, you can literally like set up time limits for yourself. I set it up so that I can't go onto like social media before 7 a.m. I just feel like I need that time for myself to just reconnect with myself after waking up, not let any other outside energy like mess with me early in the morning because. Yeah, I feel like naturally when we wake up, we grab our phone to check the time. At least this is what I do. I grab my phone, check the time, and then before I know it, I'm like scrolling on Instagram or checking the news on Twitter just to kind of help me stay awake. But I feel like doing that little change where I make it so that I can't go on those apps before 7 a.m. has actually really helped. And I feel like it just makes me feel yeah a lot more connected to myself my energy doesn't get messed up early in the morning and it just really sets the tone for a good day so i'm able to like reconnect with my own thoughts my own feelings before they become influenced by anything else on the outside if that makes sense so yeah just thought i would let you guys know that because i feel like it's really helped me a lot but with that being said like i said it's currently just after eight I'm going to go ahead and finish my breakfast smoothie. I'm kind of just like catching up on the local news on TV in my living room at the moment. And then we are going to get started with my little DIY projects for today, which I'm really excited about. All right, you guys, what you're currently looking at are a bunch of photo frames. They basically like sit like this. 
the gloss obviously sits in the front here with the picture but I have taken them apart wiped everything down and prepped them for painting as well as my chair the actual base of the chair is over there but I pulled everything apart so that I could get to painting it wiped it down prepped it it's all clean I know it doesn't look clean but yeah as you can see I did spray paint this years ago and the paint quality itself wasn't really that great and yeah it just doesn't look good it needs to be refreshed I'm just gonna do matte black and I'm going to do matte black for these frames as well like I know that these frames they're pretty but I was looking at them and there's like some little like tarnishes here and there so you know I just want to keep them simple keep them black I feel like the gold doesn't really go with the vibe of my space even though my theme is like white different shades of white I guess and like cream kind of I just want to keep everything else pretty like black and white but what I'm gonna do right now is take these downstairs and get started with painting early just so that I can leave it to dry and probably do it like a second coat when I come home later or whenever I decide to do it later in the day so I'm gonna go ahead and take these downstairs and we are gonna get to painting so I set down everything that I want to paint today on this piece of cardboard which you can see I've obviously used before to paint things but yeah I'm pretty much just gonna give everything a bit of a once-over so today I'm just gonna be using this spray paint from Rust-Oleum their ultra cover paint and primer in one as you guys can see this is just a straight like matte black flat black as it says yeah I had some leftover from when I made over my office if you guys haven't seen that I'll leave like a link somewhere on here but yeah, I had leftover spray paint from that, which is perfect because I wanted to do black for all of these pieces as well. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'll start with the bigger piece first and then do the frames afterwards. But I'm going to spray paint these and I will show you guys how it looks like after one coat. got done with spraying one even coat on all of the pieces that I wanted to paint today the frames were a little bit difficult to do just because like I don't know you got to get like on the angles and get the inside and the outside but I managed to do it I'm gonna leave this to dry for a while I also opened up my garage door a little bit just so there's a little bit more ventilation in here kind of help get the air flowing so it can dry quicker even though it is kind of rainy outside today but yeah now that all this is done i'm gonna set this aside to dry and we'll continue on with well, all of those pieces are drying i am now up in my room and what i want to do is another little diy thing i have a bunch of gloss well my hand looks weird <laughs> i have a bunch of glass vases that i want to use to display not like fresh flowers because i don't think i could do use this technique for fresh flowers where i'm putting water in actually no i probably could but basically what i want to do is paint these and kind of give them like that ceramic kind of stone finish as opposed to being like shiny glass jars because i have if you guys would have watched my previous vlog i have like dried flowers that i want to keep in these so i have this one here and also this one and what i'm gonna do is attempt to do the little diy where you make a little paint concoction and create these beautiful like ceramic stone looking type of vases so for that i went out yesterday i went to bunnings and i bought like a little jar like a paint sample of i don't even know what this brand is porter's original paints to be honest i was just looking for something that was like white but like ooh, a little bit off white so this color is irish linen it's described as a subtle warm white with a touch of amber which actually i did get some paint samples so let me show you guys them really quickly all right so i was thinking of doing something like a little more like concrete looking 
which is why I have this little set of paint swatches here. I wanted to kind of go with something like that. I mean, yeah, I guess it would go, but I just decided I was leaning towards more of these. So popcorn was like a really pale cool white. This has more of like a warm tone to it. So yeah, that's what I went with. This color right here. So basically what I'm doing is I have I'm just gonna use this little container using this as like a little stirring stick because I don't have anything else to use but I have the paint and I also am going to be adding in some baking powder and basically that's going to thicken up the consistency of the paint make it a little less liquidy and make it thick and kind of give it that ceramic finish that we want for the vases and then of course I have a paintbrush so I'm going to very carefully. I don't know if this is like a little bit too daring of me, but I feel like I'm pretty careful with it. I'm going to do this here in my room. <laughs> so uh, let's try this first where I mix together the paint and the baking powder. All right, so this is how the paint's looking. I don't want to use the whole thing because I'm only really going to be painting these two vases. I probably need more than that actually. Whoops. Okay, that was very messy, but I will clean that up later. All right, so I have my baking powder. To be honest, I don't know if I should put more paint, but we're just gonna keep it like that for now. So let me put in about that much, and we'll see what happens. If I need to add more paint, I can. Okay, that definitely, that's a bit too stony. Okay, so what I've ended up doing to kind of salvage this because I already poured in like a good amount of paint Into that little container. I Took some of it back and put it into this container instead and I feel like the ratios are a little bit better. So learn from me Just add in like a little bit at a time because I feel like yeah, I probably jumped the gun Put a little bit too much, but that's okay. Thankfully, I was able to salvage it. And as you can see, well, I hope you can see the paint is like kind of thicker. It's not like as runny, which is essentially what we want. Like I want it to be like a thicker, like almost clay-like consistency. So <laughs> I'm gonna get started with painting the vases now. So I don't know if you guys can see, but do you see how it has that like nice grit to it? That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint all the way down top to bottom, kind of thick, like lay it on thick. And then I'll probably do like another coat later as well. But yeah, as you can see, it has that like nice grit to it, which is exactly what I wanted. on one of the vases as you can see it's looking very like gritty which is exactly the texture that I wanted so even though I kind of messed up in the beginning I feel like that kind of worked in my favor because it's like super gritty which is something I was kind of worried about like I was kind of worried that it was gonna look like a little bit too smooth on the glass but this is looking good so I'm gonna continue on paint the other vase let them dry and then yeah later on i will do another coat but like i said for the time being i'm gonna paint the other bars and i'll show you how they look once they're done all right so i have finished painting the two vases uh this one was a little bit more difficult to paint but this is just the first coat so i wasn't so focused on getting it to look perfect i really just wanted to get the color on and kind of help to build up the opacity so it doesn't look so like glass but I'm going to let this dry and then do another coat later and then I think that's all I'll really need. But yeah, as you can see, I 
really like the texture that's exactly what i was going for yeah definitely gave the finish even though i kind of messed up with the baking powder putting too much in one go i thankfully salvaged it but yeah those are the two vases painted they're just gonna go there and there ignore the mask i was using that while i was painting which speaking of painting I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat on the things down in the garage while I wait for this to dry. So I'm kind of alternating between the two, but yeah, I'm gonna go do another coat on that and then I will update you guys once I'm done there. All right, as you can see, I am now in my car. I'm about to drive out to go and pick up something that I ordered. I did end up repainting, like doing the second coat of paint on the pieces that I had in my garage. So I'm gonna leave those to dry. They should be dry by the time I come back because that spray paint is like a quick dry spray paint. But the vases that I painted are not yet ready to have their second and final coat on them. So I just left them to dry. They'll be done. Well, hopefully they'll be ready to have their second coat when I come back home. But right now, I think it's currently like 10.30ish. So it's still pretty early. I feel good. I've gotten a lot done so far. And yeah, I'm going to go head out pick up this piece that I ordered which I'm going to tell you guys about and show you guys all of that later on but yeah I'm going to quickly head out and I'll check in with you guys later. Alright you guys I thought I would just quickly check in and give you guys an update. Um, yeah it's been a pretty eventful trip out. It's such a long story so I'll explain it all when I get home but I already got the thing that I wanted to get. I of course will like tell you guys about it, show you it, talk about the effort that it took for me to get it, but I just went ahead and had some lunch. Insert clip of what I had. I didn't really vlog while I was out just because I don't know this area and it was very overwhelming, like it's so busy. So I just was trying to get everything done as quick as I could. I even have to GPS my way home because I really don't know where I am. But um, yeah, I had my lunch, got myself an iced coffee needed it and um, I'll explain the whole story when I get home. So I just got home not too long ago and I am whew, I'm out of breath. I'm sweating. I just brought everything upstairs including the stuff that I bought and the pieces that I painted that were in the garage. Tidied that up and um, yeah what I need to do now actually is do my final coat on the vases but before I do that let me show you guys what I got today so those are all the pieces that I painted today I just pretty much need to reassemble the acrylic chair and then you know put the pictures back into the frames but aside from that this is what I bought while I was out today I picked up some extra things aside from the thing that I was uh, like picking up that I'd already bought. I hope you guys can hear me properly. My fan is blowing because I'm trying to cool down right now But um, yeah, I got a couple of things that I needed so random But I did need one of these folding steps just because whenever I go into my closet I can never reach the top. I have trouble like reaching Whatever is on the top shelf in my closet. So I decided to just get one of these folding steps. It was only five dollars so I'll just keep that stored away whenever I need to use it. And then I also got myself a new laundry hamper, which my old one is kind of falling apart and it's very heavy. And what I liked about this one is that it's not exactly just lifting the top. It has like this little thing where you can pull it out and put the clothes in on the side, which is handy for like the way that my situation is set up and how I you know do things you guys will see all of that when i do my closet reorganization thing but the main thing that i got today was in fact this thing right here the boucle chair i think that's how you pronounce it boucle or like teddy bear chair i have been looking for one of these for the longest time but everywhere here like all the places that I was looking at, the minimum price was like $500. And to be honest, I didn't really want to spend too much. So as soon as I saw this pop up in Kmart of all places, I was like, yeah, I just got to get it because I've wanted one and I finally found it. So it's actually quite large. I haven't put the legs on it yet, but the thing is that I could not even fit this in my car. So it actually came in a giant cardboard box. If I can insert a photo... I'll put a photo right here, but it came in a box and it wouldn't even fit into the shopping cart that I had because like I said, I ordered it online and then I just had to go and collect it. So when the girl at the store brought it out from out the back for me, 
she was like are you gonna be okay like and I didn't realize how big it was gonna be like I knew it was gonna be this big but I don't know I just hadn't really properly thought about it I was just excited to go and get it so I had so much trouble going through the mall because I'd never been to this place before and I had to try and navigate my way through the mall which I didn't even really know like where to go because I'd never been to this place before. I even had one guy come up to me and be like are you okay like are you right there and I'm like yeah I'll get to where I need to go eventually but yeah I got it to my car and it wouldn't fit even though I'd already folded my seats down and stuff so I ended up having to pretty much unbox it in the parking lot so I opened the box maneuvered the chair into there luckily it fit and folded the cardboard box up flat packed it put it in the trunk and I made it home so yeah thankfully it was able to fit I was kind of worried there but yeah I used my common sense and just unboxed it because the box was pretty much what was taking up most of the room but it doesn't have the legs on it yet so I do have to put it together but yeah I just always wanted one of these and you guys will see well you guys will kind of find out like why in due time but I um yeah I have the legs here I believe the legs are like wooden so I do at some point want to paint them black to kind of match everything else that I have going on but first things first I want to put it together because I want to make sure that I have everything before I go and like paint it so there's that very excited for that but before I start doing that I need to finish painting these I'm very happy with how these are looking they're not completely even which is fine because I'm gonna get them nice and even with this final coat so yeah I'm just gonna kind of cool down for a bit get to painting these set them aside and then I'm probably going to reassemble my acrylic chair and then maybe think about putting that together at some point but yeah for the time being it's time to get these vases done as you guys can see I am done with painting the vases I don't know if you can really like tell on camera like the texture but the texture is exactly what I wanted and as you can see like some bits are you know a little bit imperfect but to be honest I kind of like that like I didn't need it to be perfect perfect this one's pretty messy especially around the neck of the bottle just because it was really hard to get in there with the brush even like on the inside like inside the rim it was hard to get in there so it kind of just left that but i kind of like the messy look plus like that's going to be covered with flowers this is going to be covered with flowers so i wasn't too phased but but i think the coloring is pretty good and um yeah i'm just gonna leave these to dry here also i did unbox the chair so this is my new little addition it's not gonna go here i'm just keeping it here for now but yeah as you can see it's nice and plush and i feel like i wasn't really sure about the colors like where, whether it was going to match my space but to be honest i think it looks pretty decent um i honestly hadn't even properly seen this like before i picked it up i just took a risk and was like well it's not too expensive by the way if you guys are wondering this was $89 from Kmart if you are a fellow Aussie. I feel like every other similar style chair like that teddy bear boucle kind of look run upwards from like $500. So the fact that this was only $89 I honestly didn't mind paying that but um yeah my only thing now is I checked to make sure that you know all the parts are there everything's all good these are the legs and I want to spray paint these black just because I don't really have anything in my room with like this natural wood grain finish so I feel like yeah black would probably match this space better so yeah I'm gonna leave these off for now to be honest I'm probably not gonna paint them today because it is already like four in the afternoon and yeah I'd rather just paint them another day but yeah that is how everything is looking so far really happy with the chair i don't know if i showed you guys this as well but i put the acrylic chair back together so that's looking a lot nicer as well i haven't put the frames back together yet just because i don't know i kind of wanted to let them chill for a bit also don't mind the floor it's very messy 
Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to let them just sit for a bit before I put the gloss in. But yeah, so far everything is coming together really nicely. I feel like the chair looks a lot more sleek and chic. At least that's what Alan said. I was FaceTiming him earlier and he was like, wow, it looks like very chic with the black and the white. So yeah, that's how everything's looking so far. Right now I am actually taking a break even though it's not really a break because I'm sitting here editing Tamari's video. I'm just finishing that up and yeah, that's probably all I'm gonna do for now. Just kind of wait for things to dry, tidy up a little bit later and um, finish editing this video. Also this stand thing, I recently got it on eBay and it's the best thing ever. I feel like, you know, sometimes if I'm working on my laptop if I'm like not at a desk or something, if I have it on my lap or like a cushion or even on my bed, sometimes I feel like the laptop itself tends to heat up because obviously there's not enough like ventilation getting underneath with the fan keeping it cool. But I feel like this keeps it cool, keeps it nice and elevated as well at a better like level for my eyes and my neck. And um, yeah, it's, it's just super handy and I really, have been liking it so I got this on eBay I think I typed in like what did I type in I think I put like laptop riser or like laptop stand or something like that if I can find a link to the exact one I got I'll leave it in the description box below but yeah if you just type in like laptop stand or laptop riser I'm sure you will find it but yeah I'm just gonna keep on editing for now and then hopefully I can you know put away these things a little bit later once I feel like they are completely dry. It's not that they're not dry, they're dry to the touch, but I don't know if they're like completely dry all the way through. And then obviously I am waiting for the vases to dry through, which is why, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I have my fan like blowing overhead just to kind of help with the process. But anyways, I am going to continue on with a bit of editing and I will check in with you guys later. It is now currently just after 6 p.m. and I honestly feel like I'm sweating right now. It's not even that hot. It's probably just because I'm wearing a hoodie today, but I just feel like today's just been a really sweaty, like busy, but productive, long kind of day. But those are good days, you know? I always feel really good when I get a lot of stuff done and I'm staying busy. So yeah, like I said, it's just after six and I just finished editing the video that I was working on. It's currently exporting and then I'm gonna go ahead and set it to upload so it can go up tomorrow. But uh, yeah, let me show you guys the little bits and pieces that I put together because I don't think I've shown you guys everything. So with that being said, this is how the frames turned out. I think it looks really striking with the black as you guys can see. And then yes, that is the chair down there. It's kind of something for me to get used to. Like at first I was like, whoa, but I think it looks better than the gold. My only thing is that I need to paint this thing as well. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it. I was contemplating on whether I should or not, but just to kind of balance out like both sides, I feel like it would look nice if I painted that as well. I also have to unfortunately get rid of my beloved roses that I bought for myself. And yes, I am currently burning incense. This one is a stress relief one. Not that I'm stressed, it just smells really good. So that is currently burning away. But yeah, I feel like if I paint this black as well, it's gonna balance out the sides. But yeah, that's how the frames are looking and the chair and then the vase. This is like my favorite little DIY for the day. So the vase, this is how it turned out. Excuse all the like bits of dead flower that have dropped. I was kind of like shaking it about to rearrange it, but this is how the vase turned out. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I love the imperfections of it. I think it just looks very natural and like that's exactly what I was going for. I was going for something that wasn't like perfect. I wanted something that had like texture to it and streaks and yes. The only thing I wanna say about doing the whole baking powder to paint, make sure that you only put a little bit. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Like just do a little bit at a time, thicken it up when needed and um, yeah, don't go crazy with it like I did. Luckily for me, I was able to kind of fix that error, but I'm so happy with how the vase turned out. This is the other one over here. 
Oh, okay, it's just the shutter. I was looking at it, I was like, what are those dots? It's the shutter from the lights above. But yeah, this one turned out really nice as well. Like I said, it's not perfect, but again, I just really like the texture that it has to it. And I feel like it looks really, really nice on the tray. So those were the vases. Now, I still haven't vacuumed my floor. And yes, I haven't put the legs onto the chair yet because I want to paint them and I haven't painted them yet. So I figured I'm just gonna leave them off till I paint them. But I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with this corner. Like, I don't know if I should get rid of the mirror. I need to figure out how I'm gonna set this up. I was kind of like rearranging between the two. I put like the chair in the corner, like diagonal as the mirror is. And then I also put the mirror here, but I didn't like how the mirror was covering the window. And I just, yeah, I need to figure out how I'm gonna arrange this or if I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't wanna get rid of the mirror. Technically I have like three giant mirrors on my closet. Surely you would think that's enough. But the reason why I got this mirror in the first place was to kind of fill up this corner of the room and bring in more light. I feel like because the window, the windows are here, it kind of help to bring in more light. I don't know, but yeah, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that. But that is the chair. So you guys will probably see that all put together in another vlog. And um, yeah, like I said, I need to figure out how I'm going to configure this because it's a little bit awkward at the moment. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's the progress so far not finished but pretty much completed for the most part random little story time from my day today i actually lost my airpods which obviously i found them again but it's really a miracle that i did so what had happened was this case i've had it for about a month and i had noticed that the little clip that attaches to it is loose so typically when I go out, I attach these onto my keys and when I get home, I take them off and I guess it just continued to loosen up over time. So today, while I was out trying to maneuver that giant box, well, the chair into the back of my car, I must have dropped these onto the road in the parking lot and not realized it because this is made of silicone, right? So I guess I didn't hear it when it dropped to the floor. It must have just somehow unclipped and like fallen down onto the road. And yeah, after I got my chair into the back of my car, I went inside back into the mall to go and get something to eat and drink. Spent about like 20 to 25 minutes in there. And I was on the phone with Alan at the time, so I did have one of the AirPods in my ear. And it wasn't until I stood up after eating, like I said, 20 to 25 minutes later, and I had realized like, oh my gosh, my case isn't on my keys. Cause like I said, I attached these to my keys. So, Kind of frantically, I started retracing my steps, looking around, and if anybody knows me, they would know that I am not one to lose stuff. Like, I am very aware of where my things are. I look after my things, especially if they are of value. So basically, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to go and get a new pair. Like, it's my fault, I was careless. What can I do? Part of me was also wishing, like, maybe they're in the trunk of my car like maybe they accidentally fell in there because i remember like throwing my keys into the trunk just to keep them there while i was trying to get the chair into the car so i walked back to my car after retracing my steps of the mall thinking that it might be on the ground but if they were someone would have picked them up and probably taken it so uh yeah i was walking towards my car in the parking lot and what do i see in the middle of the road like literally in the middle on the road in the parking lot is this damn case and i'm looking at it like oh those are my airpods and i kid you not at the exact same moment a car starts reversing opposite my car he's reversing out to like leave and i was like like i'm gonna watch i am going to watch him reverse and run over my case and i don't know i'm just so awkward that i couldn't be like you know, running frantically and be like, stop, stop, wait. So I was just like watching, like, I get to witness this, like, cool, my AirPods are right there and I'm just gonna witness this. But he missed it, I kid you not. He reversed and he started to go at an angle and he just missed them. And I was so thankful in that moment. I was like, I can't believe. It's honestly a miracle that they were even still there to begin with. 
and the fact that they didn't get run over I was trying to look at the case to be like did anyone else run over them because there was like there were other cars that were parked next to me and I noticed that when I got back to my car the cars went around so I was like okay it's so lucky that nobody ran over them or nobody picked them up but yeah after that I just walked on over to it picked it up and I was like thank goodness I found it like I felt like luck was on my side today and I just yeah so note to self I need to get a new one of these things but like I said I am very like thoughtful and aware when it comes to my stuff I don't leave things laying around I always check like phone, keys, wallet, airpods. Those are the things that I always have with me. But I guess because I was in such a rush after getting the chair into my car, I just didn't think about it. So yeah, need to get a new one of these. I'm just so thankful that I found them though, thankfully. And I'm thankful that this case is durable because it's pretty thick, as you guys can see. It's a pretty thick case. So yeah, I'm just lucky that they weren't damaged at all. But anyways, I feel like today has been a very long vlog. If you are still here at the end, thank you for sticking around. Before I go though, comment of the day. I said I was gonna make a habit out of these in my vlog. So comment of the day goes to Tessa Rises. You said that you love my long vlogs, which I did say that I wanted to cut down on the length of my vlogs because I feel like they're just so long. But a lot of you guys tell me you like the long vlogs. So we're gonna try and you know, keep an even balance between the two. You guys say you like the long vlogs, so I'm gonna keep them around. But thank you for telling me that my hair looks cute either way. And thank you for telling me that you thought I was 23. That's so like flattering to me. To be honest, I probably feel 23, even though I am 30. But thank you and thank you for the birthday wishes. And yes, I will be doing a skincare routine soon. I've been planning to do one for the past like week or so. It's just, me not making time to do it but yes a skincare routine will be on the way so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you for spending part of your day with me if you guys have any suggestions for how you think i should arrange things or whether i should like add or take away stuff in here let me know i would definitely love to hear some input like i said i want to figure out what to do with this corner maybe i could just like move the mirror i don't know just let me know what you guys think but yeah like i said thank you for spending part of your day with me as always i hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world i will talk to you in the comments and i'll see you all in my next video some memories don't fade sometimes you miss the old days but nothing changed less you change what's around you how you think how you live how you speak how you walk how you blink how you talk how you teach how you reach let it sink what's your purpose what's your passion through the pain what's your plan is it plain on a plane